downtown school district. There's no bus. Fourth grade. I'm telling you, this is what I was talking about, guys. That's pretty incredible for a fourth grader, okay? That, that, that's an artiste right there. Fourth grade, that's incredible. More artwork on the walls. Let's see here. This is 10th grade. Getting a little more advanced here. Back to grade five. Not too bad. Fourth grade third grade hmm. Okay, so that's that one. I'm going to go on this one now. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Can I help you? No. So this is a 10th grader. Pretty impressive. But they're older. And some of them fourth grade projects were crazy to me. Third grade, that's, see? Third graders, that's artiste, all the way. And I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Ty Glenn, how are you? I'm, I'm well, but what, can I help you? Is there something? Oh no, there? I'm just checking out the artwork. And that's you hard. are with, who are you with? I'm here, this will probably be easier since you yeah. wanna keep interrupting me. Doing a news story. Okay. Was there someone you someone, need to speak with? Oh, no. No. Okay. Not at all. I just like looking at the artwork. It's pretty impressive. For eighth grade? Tell me that's not impressive for the eighth grade. Wow. That's really impressive for the eighth grade. Incredible. Incredible. Grade five. Yeah. And that looks like that's about it for artwork on the walls. Oh, there's a couple behind me. Fifth grade. Fourth grade, some abstract stuff there. Seventh grade, impressive again. There. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to come out here and we really need you to. There. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to come out here, and we really need you to probably make an appointment with our PR person, Dan Wooler. Have you met him? No. No, he's. Why would I need right a? Now. Why would I need a PR person? Well, he handles all of our media contacts. Right. Right. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I don't need him. I'm just a citizen journalist. Yeah. Working on a story in your building. 
But it's by but, appointments, sir. Correct. And these are oh, offices. Oh, no. No, COVID's over. Going through COVID's offices. over. Second grade. Now, that is impressive for a second grader. Who you guys with? I'm with myself. What are you doing? Twelfth grade. Huh? Uh, I'm doing an investigation. Sir, I need you to stay up here. Okay. There's a picture right here. Yes. Right? Artwork, yes. Okay. Sir, you have to have right. an appointment, though. For what? Th these offices are by appointment. Well, then yeah. the door would have been closed and locked. You can stay right up here, sir. Okay, it's a picture. Take it down if you don't want people looking at That's it. That's fine. We can have artwork in our offices. But okay. Still by appointment. And why can't I see it? Again, by appointment. Okay. And which one are you? You got a name? If you're bossing, if you're bossing me around, I'd like to know who you are. Um, I'm not bossing you around. I'm politely asking you to make an appointment. Appointment for what? Well, that's why I'm asking what you sure need. I'm, I'm not understanding what you're wanting. I, clearly. Clearly, you're just an autocratic person who thinks that I have to bow down to you. I'm you're not, not my master. This is a publicly funded office. That's fine. This area up to here, anything beyond this is by appointment only. I don't see any signs. You're going to have to get some signage put up. Okay. Okay. It, it says if you're here for a meeting, please sign in. I'm not here for a meeting. Right. That's what the appointments are for. Okay. You're speaking Greek on purpose. I'm very sure confused. you are. I'm not speaking. Greek. I'm here. I'm recording some stuff in the hallways. I noticed you had some artwork in here. Okay. Right. Are you scared? I am not scared at all, other than the fact that then you don't have problem? an appointment. You don't have an appointment. I don't need an appointment. You do. To no, I do not space. need an appointment to come into this building. Follow, We're asking okay. for an appointment, yes. I don't need an appointment, but if you'd like to give me the man's name and number, I'll give him a call. Well, this is the thing, though. What man are you asking? You, the one you just said. I'm trying. I didn't say a man. Yeah, I'm, you I'm said. Probably make an appointment with our PR person, Dan Wohler. Have you met him? Mm, I might be able to help. Dan You're, Wohler, the PR? Dan Wohler. That's a man's name. Okay. So if you would like an appointment with him, yes, uh -huh. I can get, the office. I can okay. get your information and I'll give it to him. He isn't so, here right now. Obviously we you can give me his information. To these ends. I don't give you my information. That's not how this works. Okay. I'm a member of the sure. public. That you want him to contact you to make an appointment. No, I will contact need. him. That's what we need. I don't give my number out to strange people. Do you have an email that I can give it? It's on the card I gave you. Okay, the other gentleman. I can get that. I can give that to him. Though. Okay. That will work. And then he'll contact you and make an appointment. Okay. That works. That's all we're asking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just pictures on a wall. We understand, and that's not the problem. It's... But you can't go past the front of the desk if you, these are. Then you offices. need to put up signs that say that. Okay. Okay. Well, at this point, and also, room. I think I noticed a men's room back there. That is not private. private. That is not a pub the public. Only pub the only public restrooms are on the lower level of the building. Yes. Well, then you would have to get that posted with a sign. You guys are slipping. Well, You're slipping. You You're slipping. I'm not slipping. So yeah, you are. So. No, the only public restrooms in this entire building are on the lower level. Okay. okay. Well, there's a bathroom over there. What's your name? What's yours? I don't, I don't know where we're at with this. I don't okay. work for the city, and I don't get paid with tax dollars, so let's not play that game. What's your name? Well, I'm seriously, I, I don't I don't know what's going on here. I just... Well, what do you need to know? It's hmm? okay. Yes, that you don't okay. need to be in the conversation. It's okay. All right, guys. Okay, you're dismissed, guy. You're Thank dismissed. You. And unless you think there's something nefarious going on here, you're in fear for your safety. Are you in fear for your safety? Can, is there anything else we can help you with right now? You can answer the question. Is there anything we can help you with? No. I told okay. you that from the beginning, and you okay. should have gone back in your office and left me well, alone. That's, that's, that's not, not for how you works. to determine. Yes. So. And it's not for you to determine where I can and can't go. Okay. It's just not. Well, we are able to run our office. But you don't have any signs posted up saying the things that you're saying. 
All I wanted to do was look at artwork. Okay. There's okay. Artwork. But there's also artwork in there. I went down there. Those ladies didn't have a problem with it. What's your problem? I can't speak to what has or has not occurred anywhere else on the floor. So, again, private offices, you can't go past They're here. not private. The Where does it say private? It is. So. Where does it say private? If you want to uh, make an appointment to see all the artwork, we can do that, too. Oh, I'm sure when you give the guy my name, my business card, and he'll call me up and he'll apologize. And it, I've been well, through this a, a couple dozen times because some autocratic woman that is, is overstepping her authority. Not at all. Absolutely, you not are. Not at all. I am not, sir. You are absolutely overstepping. Well, there's so public bathrooms in there. there you know it. Bathrooms. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. No one uses those except our employees. Then it would say employee. I can assure you no one uses them except our employees. They okay. are not public records. Listen, you need to contact somebody. You need to get I the proper signage. Anyone. You need to get the proper signage because you're not my boss. You're not. You're also not mine. No, ma'am. Right. So not at all. I just handle. fund you. Don't tell me how to handle the way we run our office. I'm not. Okay. I'm asking you, wouldn't it be better if there were signs up restricting the area? I don't, I don't have to answer to you about signage. I can tell you that our offices are not open to the public beyond this The counter. door was open. Beyond this counter. It doesn't say that anywhere. Okay, that's how we run. That signage does not have to be in place for us to run our office that way. That doesn't give you free reign for anywhere in the building. There you go, guys. It's not just on the West Coast. Teachers are teachers everywhere. And school administrators are school administrators everywhere. What do we got here? He's going to tell them this is a public building. That's how it goes. When they don't, when, when they walk right by you to talk to the other people, right? <laughs> Whatever. He knows it's okay. So I've recorded all this artwork. Oh, I he'll he'll come chase me down if he wants me. People like that. Wow. You know, this reminds me of what Direct D said. If, if, if they minded their business, right, and act cordially and accordingly, okay, there would be no video. None. Ain't that something? Different elevator, huh? Did we get it figured out? Yeah, same is true. Yeah. Pass these desks is by appointment only. Okay. And what did the policeman say? I didn't speak to him. Oh, you didn't. Okay. Yeah. You're you're a class act, lady. Real class act. Pardon me. Before you go in there, did did you get it worked out with the officer? Oh, did you induce fear in them women? No, I'm not. We had a nice conversation, and now all of a sudden doors are locked, and yeah. Okay, so I do need something. I need you to know and understand. Appointment or no appointment, you're on the permanent list. Okay. I'm out of here, dude. I ain't putting up with it. I don't care what she said. She's just full of snot. I came down here. Everybody was nice and polite. I filmed some some artwork on the walls, right? And she just wants to be that way. You know what I mean? Can I help you guys? No, you can't help me. You guys got to come up with something else to say. What are you after? 
and I'm after your wife's phone number. How about that? Nice. You were okay when I was in here being polite to the women and, and checking out the artwork, right? You, you never came out of your hole then. You're getting people upset and nervous. I'm not getting people upset and nervous. I'm sure you are. That's why they asked me to come out and have a discussion with you. Okay. And what are you going to do? Around. I'm just finding out why, why, what you need. Is this a publicly funded office? Partially. Okay. There you go. There's nothing else to be said. I was here, I was looking at artwork, right? I don't know why I'm deciding to be so pleasant to you, but I am, apparently, okay? Um, but you're a servant. I'm not, I'm not. I'm a citizen journalist doing a story. Some of this so artwork, we're getting somewhere. Thank some you. of this artwork is incredible Absolutely. for fourth graders and third graders. Kids do an excellent job. Thank you for noticing. Okay. Yeah. Now, you come to the on a personal show, note, huh? I said you should make it to the art show. We have annually as well. Man. I'll be looking that up. That's wonderful. How big are the public schools around here, man? How big are the public schools? Yes. Yeah. As, as in district wide, or I mean, like, like as in like new, like uh, nominal value of students. Like how many students go to like the elementary school and the middle school and stuff? We have total in Middletown around six thousand students. So about half of them elementary, the other half will be secondary. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of students, right? Yeah. Okay, and if you're not willing to open that door and let me address that lady, then maybe you could apologize to her for me. I I'm pretty sure I know what happened, okay? They were very polite, very professional. But uh, I guess if your office is on that end, on this end, then I kind of get it, right? You get what? Why they would be professional and polite down here, and the oh, boss's office is right there. They're like that if I'm here or not. It's not just I'm, I'm, the boss is here. I'm inclined to believe you, but because of their demeanor. Yeah. But if them women came over here and got them in a panic, I, I, that makes me feel kind of bad. Well, See, here's the deal. Bottom it's not line. Not every day we just get people wandering our hallways. Oh, like, but I've been here before. I just lost the footage. Okay? okay, that's how I knew about the artwork. But here's the bottom line. Okay, and you school people really need to understand this. You pump more love into the world than hate, it makes it a better place. So, like I sure said, huh? I said, I'm not sure where you're going with that. But if you pump more love into the world than hate, words. I don't know where the hate's coming from. Well, that's what school people do now. You're indoctrinating my kids well, with your Marxist rhetoric. Constant. Oh, absolutely. Your schools do. Not all schools. Would you say? But some. Not all. But some. But you know what I'm. What I see on the news, I would agree with you. Okay. Okay. But I wouldn't make the assumption that every employee in every school district acts that way. That's not a fair assumption. Look, this is a heavily. But we are on the same page. Um, you tipped your hand a little bit there when you said hate instead of Marxism. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I apologize I if I was aggressive. It. I appreciate it. I think and we're very like-minded. But I swear to God, yeah. I was only here to record the, the artwork. I'd lo I did it before, and the mm -hmm. same lady that gave me a hard time this time gave me a hard time that time. She didn't want me in the hallway up here, right? So this time I made sure to go into the little place, especially when I seen there was more artwork. Yeah, and that's, those are actually the art you're looking back and moving. Mm -hmm. Down here, that's art that our kids have done, got voted on by their teachers, brought to a board meeting, presented, and we firmly put that out. And like I said, some of them are absolutely incredible. Absolutely. I don't, really wow, she artwork. was so nice to me earlier, and now that's okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move along. Well, thank you. And, um, you know, please, I'm with you. you know, yeah. I respect it and I appreciate what you're doing. Yeah. Here, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You'll understand even more. It's happened everywhere because I can tell you it's not, but it is happening. Are you going to be like the bouncer here? Give it a day and then you can look that up. And you can see how she behaved towards me right off the rip. I appreciate it. It was rough.
guys it was rough. Just... Huh? You guys hire your deaf people here? I did not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are we going to laugh? I said, do you guys hire deaf people here? Deaf people here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking. I was asking. I was just asking. I was just asking you if you're going to be like the bouncer. The bouncer here. He's, he's one of the nicest men you'll see on the fourth floor. <laughs> Very <laughs> Usually people come in and say who they are, what they're here for. And yeah, we'll gladly show you around. We'll do things like that. But just for people walking down, and it's security more than anything. We just randomly, you don't want people you don't know walking into your private spaces. I know it's publicly funded. We get that. Um, but so people have their like purses, private, have private their public personal spaces. items, and yeah. Like exactly. private, private public You spaces. know, it's like if I invited you in my front door at my home, then all of a sudden you start walking through. My house. Yeah, it's a little, yeah. Well, it's not. But this, this is kind of a bad analogy. But it doesn't mean you have the right to come in and walk into the offices uninvited. Oh, I didn't go in any offices. I just wanted to see the artwork. Yeah. But you guys have a good day. Thank you. Oh, I never did get a conclusion about what the police officer said. What did the police officer say? Right. If there was some way that I made you feel uncomfortable or scared, I apologize. I, I, that wasn't my purpose. Some of this artwork is really incredible to me. And I, I just wanted to catch it for my channel. Okay. That map outlines our different schools. Uh, I got different that. Different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you said you don't work in this office, man. No, I do work. You do. I'm part of central office up here, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. You're the treasurer for the school. I tell that you're talking about for the city. No. Yeah. No. Fourth floor school district. The city's the third floor now. Yeah. 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 Conversational. Yeah. And it's what they're using. So that's you should. Sometimes you should go. Hold on. Hold on. They're privileged people. When they call and lie to the police, they don't get charged with Did it. Did you hear them calling and lying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's lying. Is that why you, you want to take the elevator? As soon as I walk away, the elevator will come, and he'll ride down and beat me. Oh, there it is. Hello. Elevator. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm all right. All right, you guys have a good day. Okay, you too. Don't shoot anybody today. <laughs> Middletown, it's Middletown. I mean, you, you they earn the reputation. Hey, uh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't arrest that lady. Okay. The one that just called and made a false police report. Okay. Because I have everything on camera. She's lying. Fair enough. Okay. Take it easy, yeah, man. Uh, and remember, when you came out the elevator, we were kind of standing here waiting on it. Yeah. You're yeah. I gotta see what the scoop is, bro. <sighs> Hello. Yes. Hey. Hello again. Everything good in there? Everything's good, brother. All right. All right. Well, sounds good. Take it easy. Yeah, you guys have a good day. <laughs> yeah, we will. I'm, I'm not waiting on the elevator again. I'm really not. That thing, I waited there for 10 minutes.
Okay, that's what I thought. The building really is kind of an amazing building. I, I would have gone with a more simpler design, something more affordable for the people, but government spending and government waste is alive in Middletown just like it's alive in every major city. And look at that. He made it right on down. Same amount of time as me. I guess I should have waited. Okay, Jim fam. This is Ty Glenn. Remember what I said. You pump more love into the than into the world than hate. And you're you're making the world a better place. That's where we're at with that. So we'll see you next time. <laughs>